Hello, this is Deanna and thanks so much for being here. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a bit of a book review slash discussion and the book I'm going to be reviewing is Smile by Raina Telgemeier. I apologize if I said that wrong at all for her last name, but Arena, I was introduced to these books through my second daughter. She had this as well as Sisters Here Behind Me, which is the sequel to this essentially. And then she also did some of the Babysitter's Club graphic novels. So I read Christie's Big Day as well from Raina. So I started with The Babysitter's Club and then moved into Smile. And Smile is a graphic novel, as you can see here with the pretty pictures, uh, written by Raina. And it's essentially her story. It's what happened to her when she was in the sixth grade and she had uh, an accident that ended up knocking out her, some of her front teeth and damaging her front teeth and to the point that she had to get some surgeries done, a lot of dental visits and things like that to try to get her smile fixed and with all of that she's also dealing with things like puberty and hormones and pimples and somewhat catty friends as well. So she's dealing with all of that, the teasing that comes and everything while trying to navigate all of that while also trying to deal with some of the pain and discomfort that comes with getting a new smile. I definitely related to this book a lot as you may have seen on my channel or maybe you're new here and didn't know but I just recently had my braces removed just last year which would be June 2021 because we're in March 2022 as I'm filming this and with that, with ending up getting my braces done, I related to the story. So I, when I got my braces on, I chronicled my journey as best as I could, given me and my habits. I did that on this channel. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested. I did have quite a few videos about my racist journey. And so this really just spoke to me in regards to going through that pain and that discomfort of what braces brings with dealing with the different mechanisms and tooth pain and mouth pain. So I definitely related to that. With Raina, I'm thinking back in my own childhood as well. I mean, in the book, one of her friends ends up calls her a vampire, teases her, says she looks like a vampire. I felt that very much in my soul because that was one of the uh, nicknames that I had with my awful smile that I had. So yes, I very much related to how mean kids can be sometimes. Gosh, love kids, but sometimes they can be pretty mean to each other. And that is very much encapsulated in this book of just some of what Raina has to go through with her friends. I think it's really cool too that Raina took something that she really loves, her ability to make such great art and create comics, and she was able to make a little comic on her journey. So that's awesome, Arena. I really love too reading this because as a millennial myself, I saw some of the references of pop culture that was a little before my time. Um, but it was really funny. Like she talked about things like New Kids on the Block and like seeing The Little Mermaid in theaters. And that was just really funny because it's like, I love The Little Mermaid was a little young for me to see in theaters, but that's, that's just really cool. All these little pop culture references that she has sprinkled throughout the book and just placing that timeline of when this kind of happened to her as well. And Raina too, she did a really great job. Like this artwork is so fun. I mean, the comic itself was such a delight to read. I absolutely loved reading it. Like some of these pictures and everything in here is just incredible. Like she did a really good job. They're very 
colorful and just engaging and it kept me reading the expressions on some of these characters faces were really funny um but there was also a bit of reality woven through because while it's a comic and a cartoon and we can get very creative with how things are portrayed in cartoons she also does have a lot of realism in here too because it was her real story and what i really loved as well is that we see her going through a lot of just different trials and things that she has happening and it's not all wrapped up in a beautiful bow it's real life and she even actually has a line where it says my life didn't magically turn perfect after that and i think that's really really important for reyna to have in this because even though maybe things went well with her treatment and she was able to to get that beautiful smile it didn't mean that everything suddenly was magical so getting something that she thought she really wanted and having that relief doesn't mean that suddenly rainbows and sunshine are just sprouting all day it's still real she's still going through real life and dealing with the ups and the downs that come with that so i really did appreciate that reina put that little note in this book yeah, as a former braces wearer, I definitely recommend this to anyone that maybe is going through braces right now, maybe needs to have braces at some point in their life, or has ever had braces. I very much recommend this because I think you will relate to some of the things that us braces wearers have to go through and some of the dentist visits and stuff like that that we encounter. So I think that will be very relatable for people as well as even if you've never had braces, never needed braces, lucky you, and <laughs> never wanted braces or anything, uh, then I still encourage you to read this because it's still a cute, fun read. It's a really quick read too because it is a graphic novel. So unlike a you know, regular novel, it, it is a bit quicker to be able to get through this. And I gobbled it up and like, maybe less than an hour I think it took me to get through this but it was really really delightful and then I was so loved <laughs> like I so loved being immersed in this graphic novel that I couldn't wait to get into Sisters and I've already devoured Sisters as well so I'll have something coming about that as well if you're interested but I give this one definitely a five out of five I think the artwork is great the story was really well done and I'm just in love with this little story and I can definitely see myself picking this up sometime and just kind of perusing through it and checking out Reina's smile story again. And I'd love to hear too in the comments below, have you ever had braces? What was your braces experience like? Have you ever read this smile story and what did you think? I'd love to hear anything below. That's why I do this channel is I just want to have that engagement and talk to people about fun books, all kinds of different variety of books. Today it's a graphic novel, tomorrow it could be anything, who knows, <laughs> my taste. But I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for being here. If you did like, give me a like below. I do appreciate it always. And thank you again for being here. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, night, evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Take care of yourself. Thank you again for watching and you will see me next time. Bye!